Welcome back to Film Fetish. I'm your host CJ and today we're gonna go into a genre of film that is not for the faint of heart or the weak stomach it. Stomach it. It'll work. I like it. Anyway, today's genre is the unsettling, the unnerving, the nasty. So, you've been forewarned. Let's begin. First film of the day, we have Aggravated Lesbians Hate Mate 4. Mmm, 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 delicious. Oh, no, wrong list. First film of the day is basically the movie that sent me down that path of dark movie territory. I'm, of course, talking about Pascal Laguerre's Martyrs. Now, make sure when you find this film, you look up the 2008 French film, not that atrocious, horrific American remake we got. The film's plot follows two young women as they seemingly for no reason butcher an entire family with a shotgun. It's later revealed, however, that one of the women, as a young girl, was tortured brutally in a warehouse with other women and she managed to escape. Now, the climax of the film basically reveals that there's a cult who believe that women, after being tortured systematically for so long, will finally be able to see beyond our world into the next dimension, heaven, whatever you believe in. And it's at this point in the movie that it just goes off the rails. Now this movie is gruesome in every definition of the word. And it's hard to stomach, but it is a great film that if you have the stomach for it, check it out immediately. Next up, we head into the depressing mind of Lars von Trier. This is a Danish director who has caught my attention for many years. His films are definitely hit or miss, but they're all interesting in their own way. Today we're talking about Antichrist, starring Charlotte Gainsbourg and William Defoe. The film basically asks the question, what if Earth was created by Satan, not God? And what if women were inherently evil? Yeah, these are real questions the movie asks. Now add in a ton of haunting imagery in brutal sequences of graphic violence and sex. Speaking of which, make sure you seek out the Criterion's unrated cut because they butchered just about every scene of the film for its theatrical release. Oh, and by the way, did I mention that it stars William Dafoe? Need to keep that in mind. Oh yeah, check it out. Next, we head back to France with Gaspar Noé's 2018 drug-fueled nightmare film, Climax. The film follows a dance troupe who unknowingly ingest LSD, and the film is basically just the just destruction of the human psyche as these people just degrade down to just filthy, mindless animals. The scenes in this film are quite horrific when you really take them in. And I will admit, when I first watched this film, I wasn't impressed. I felt it was very tame and kind of boring. But on a second viewing, I really got the subtle horror that he's bringing out. Now, again, give this movie your full attention because you really have to set and understand that, yes, on the surface, you have these people freaking out, losing their minds. But they're subtle touches, as Mark will tell you, my cameraman, that's my boy, uh, he didn't like this movie. And there's a scene at the end of it where the camera does a full upside down tilt and it stays that way for a good 10 minutes and the whole screen is red. And at first I found it quite irritating, but I soon realized that what if it was trying to tell you that that's what those people are feeling. They're irritated, they're ready for this shit to end and now you're along for the ride. And that's kind of how you have to interpret the movie. So if you have the time to just set and just ingest all this, like LSD, uh, definitely seek this one out. Next film on our list, we have Man Bites Dog, a 1992 Belgian mockumentary serial killer film. Great mix of love it. The plot is about a film crew who follow a local serial killer as he just goes about on his acts of horrific violence. And the film slowly goes from we're detached, we're watching you do it, to a turning point where the film crew actually starts joining in on these horrific acts, leading to a really bizarre and abrupt climax that I loved. Now, a friend of mine recommended this film to me, and I'm glad he did. Criterion even did a release for it. Um, it's a hard movie to set through, but if you can, it's a beautifully shot, black and white, low budget film that will keep you intrigued through the entire journey. If you haven't seen it, check it out if you've got the stomach for it. Man Bites Dog. Now, last film of the day, 
we're going to talk about quite possibly my favorite film of 2019. And that film, of course, is Midsommar. Now, primarily, I am going to be talking about its director's cut. And if you can't tell from these two that I'm a fanboy. Now, the theatrical cut on its own right is incredible and is worthy of all the praise. I'm recommending the director's cut simply because I had a chance to witness it in theaters with a friend of mine. And it's a more complete and beautiful film. It adds in more horrific violence. It adds in a lot of emotion that is cut from the theatrical cut, which will affect characters differently. And it even foreshadows a later on off-screen death that without context just looks really bizarre. Um, if you have the opportunity, get the director's cut. It adds in 25 minutes. That is just beautiful. Uh, Midsommar, 2019, damn good film, basically a masterpiece, find it, I'm rambling, love ya. Still watching? Good. Now that was my top five favorite unsettling movies list. Any I missed, other than a Serbian film, I know someone's gonna comment it, and I have seen the film several times, unrated and edited, and knowing that only a very select few people can withstand that movie's horrific nature. To give you an example, I felt I needed to read the Bible after watching the, the edited version. Um, you've been warned, so seek that one out on your own. I'm not recommending it. Um, anyway, as always, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe for future content. This has been Film Fetish. I'm your host, CJ, and please remember to keep it lowbrow. Action. <laughs> you gotta cut, like, I'm, I'm like losing it over yeah. here.